What Rumi and Max Planck knew about consciousness and reality? What if the world you see isn't the real one? What if the material universe, the very stuff we're made of, is just a shadow cast by something far more fundamental? This isn't a New Age thought experiment. It's the radical conclusion reached by two of history's most brilliant minds. One, a 13th century Persian mystic and poet. The other was the father of modern quantum physics. In a stunning convergence across centuries, both Rumi and Max Planck pointed to the same astonishing truth, that consciousness is not a product of the physical world, but its very source. Prepare to have your perception of reality shaken to its core. And what is the force that connects these drops? It is love. Love is the primary force, the substance of this fundamental consciousness. Without love, there is no river. If consciousness is all that is real, why does the physical world feel so real? Why can I not simply pass my hand through this table? Because the Creator has given the shadow its form, its rules. The shadow must behave like a shadow. This world is a beautiful game, dance. The table is solid because the consciousness plays as the table wishes it to be. The ego, the I, is a cage of our own making. But when we shatter this cage, we find our true self, a boundless consciousness, a love that flows through all things. We are not just Ahmad or Mahmud. We are the breath of the Creator. Maulana, how do we begin this journey? If the mind is a creation and the world a shadow, what is the first step on the path to this fundamental consciousness? Do not seek the answer with your mind. It is in the silence that follows your breath. The search ends not when you find the answer, <laughs> but when you realize you are the answer. If this video touched your heart, subscribe. It's inspired by the timeless wisdom in the seven book Rumi collection by Dr. Fareed Mostaman. Whether you seek healing, love, clarity, or growth, these teachings will guide you inward to the truth of who you are.